Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled God's Promise to a Baal Tshuva. Ramban writes in his commentary on the Pasuk in Tvarim Lamed, Pasuk Vav Umal Hashem Lakechas Lavcha Hashem will, so to speak, circumcise your heart. And Ramban writes, and I'll quote him, person that comes to metar himself, get closer to Hashem, God will help him. God promises, He assures the person that He will return to Him with all His heart. The person who's going to return to Hashem with all His heart, God will help him. So Hinech Leibowitz asks on this, wait a second, if you read the Pesukim a few Pesukim earlier, it's already talked about someone who is returning to Hashem with all of his heart. So why does Hashem need to help him turn to Hashem with all his heart? He's already such a person. So if Hanach Libas wants to say that even a person who has conviction to turn to Hashem with all his heart, it may not be so simple to galvanize all his forces together, his heart and his soul, to turn to Hashem. He wants to do that, but he may not be able to do it on his own, and therefore Hashem gives a haftacha. Rav Hanach Libas elaborates, and I think it is an absolutely essential idea for tshuva, that there are different times that Hashem promises us hashkacha in this world. In the future, He always promises us that we have a reward for every mitzvah that we do in Olam Haba. In this world, there's specific times that we have a haftacha from Hashem. The most famous one, uh, just done a few days ago, Shemitah. So when Shemitah is midoraita, then clearly everyone agrees there's a haftacha promise from Hashem. Today, Shemitah is Drabanan. It's an interesting machloket. Do we still have God's promise that He will take care of us miraculously when we rest during the Shemitah when it's rabbinic? That's a, for another discussion. But there are times that there's clearly a haftacha, either in Olam Haba, Olam Hazeh. There's a haftacha from Hashem that there will be a messianic era. That's a guarantee. When, how, what, those the details we'll have to see as they come. So here is another haftacha according to the Ramban, a haftacha de Baal Tshuva, that a person goes ahead and he makes a serious, real, meaningful, genuine attempt to get close to Hashem, to work on his midos, to work on his relationship between God, relationship between his family, his parents, spouse, chaveirim, whatever the case may be, the person really, really wants to grow, and he's sincere about it, there is a haftacha from Hashem, habal time asayin atel, and Hashem will help out. And it is so important, sometimes when we decide we want to do tshuva, we want to get close to Hashem, we want to learn more, we want to work on a relationship, a neighbor that we haven't spoken to for years, family member that we haven't spoken to for years, whatever the tragic case may be, and we say we're going to work on it, we're going to make it different. But then sometimes the Yitzhar gets away and says, I just can't, I can't, I know the challenge, it's daunting, it's overwhelming, and I'm just going to have to drop it. So the here this Haftacha is crucial. It could be that on your own you can't. It's possible. And maybe the forces here are just too strong. It is a possibility, although it's nothing that we should assume, but it's possible. Here, the forces alone, combined with the Siyat of the Haftacha from Hashem, then that could be a magical combination that a person can get with that, a person can really overcome challenges that he could not have imagined that he could on his own. So I think this Ramban is absolute, absolutely so they had das regarding tshuva, that a person really, truly wants to come close to Hashem, there's a tacha that Hashem will help him out, and have a special hashkacha to go ahead and guide him and get close to Hashem and to his fellow Jews. Shalom, and